Hello Pioneers, I hope you're well. My name is Ben and this is the Satisfactory Plus mod for the game Satisfactory. On the last episode we did an absolute ton. We got oil brought into the city, we started messing with quantum time crystals, which were a lot of fun, and we even got the beginnings of Cryotech Industries started, and it was a lot of fun. And today we're going to continue the fun. In fact, let's just skedaddle and scooch down here. And if we check the man for our quantum crystal tree, we are waiting for these things. Stabilized quantum crystals. I do have some smart plating being made, so eventually we're going to be able to unlock all of these. And we also need to go back and automate the quantum cables and the quantum cable adapter that we unlocked last episode. I think on this episode I'm going to try to just keep pushing through this quantum stuff to see how far we can get. Right after we roll the intro. Last episode, I had planned to make stabilization frames, but I never got around to it. And I think I decided on somewhere like right here for the building. And when I ran over here, I saw this little sliver right here, and I thought that this looks perfect. <laughs> I, I kept this surface smooth, thinking another building would go there. And so I think we should be able to fit it right there. Plus, it needs zinc plates which can be just belted over from there, and the lead frames, which are being created right there. And could probably just be belted over. But no, we'll use the truck station. That's, that's what we wanna do. All right, let's put up a row, uh, excuse me, a wall barrier. So we know that this is this building and not that building. And we should probably do the same thing here. Okay, and now, let's see, we should be able to... Yeah, we should be able to go this way more. Hmm. No, we probably don't want to go past that, so let's... Roll it and put up some temporary walls again. In fact, I quite like this already. I need to start doing this all the time, I think just to help me visualize what fact, which factory is which. Since we're going to belt the zinc plates over, all we need is a truck station for the lead frames and then a truck station for the stabilization frames to be shipped out for further processing. So that's two by my astute powers of addition. All right, we'll put the first station just like I did there and the second one like that. Okay, let's run the second floor. And there, we should be good. Okay, and now a wall with a hole in it. Perfect. Let's see, we need 30 a minute, so Mark 1 belts are gonna do us just fine. Except I can't run that yet without hitting the build mode to reverse. Okay, so now we've got a conveyor lift and I should be able to just split off from right here. We've got zinc plates. One, two, three, four. Makes that perfect. There's our zinc plates, and we'll need a lead frames, and we'll need stabilization frames, just like that, easy peasy. I love automation in the morning. Well, that's not good. That train's not supposed to use that path. Hmm. Okay, since that is using the wrong lane, I forgot that I just made an oversight. I'm going to build another rail right here.
There, delete that last piece, and now I have rerouted the train. Let's see if it's still, if it'll come. It is, it's coming right now. Perfect, I love it. Ran over to fetch some quantum crystals, and uh, just a little while ago I had somebody note that there's actually a second node in here, right there, which is really cool. This one's impure, actually, and the other one is normal. So I'm gonna move all of these over to this one. It's very cool. I can't wait to be able to put a miner down on it. Okay, so I'm gonna let those run now. I should have enough to get going. Yeah, 800. And uh, we'll come back later. I should build a train over here. Well, I'm definitely gonna build a train over here, but I should do that right now. Okay, now I think we have enough of those stabilized crystals that we can unlock something in the map. So let's pick one and check it out. Seems pretty fun. Item storage mark one. Although, I just had the realization that maybe I should try to use these crystals to build something from the storage network, like the Nexus. Nah, let's not do that. So we can do item and fluid storage. So let's just go with item. See what that unlocks down here. Okay, item storage mark two. Item storage mark three. So we're gonna need the quantum cables, quantum cable adapter. Let's go check on our slug farm. We haven't been over there in a while and now that we need blue slugs, it'd be nice to have uh, the blue slugs going. Automated, I mean. Okay, so I'm starting to clear out all the yellows. I've turned this machine off and got it cleared out. I've cleared out this machine. I'm just waiting for the belts to clear. And then we can switch it to blue. I'm excited, we're gonna have to, I think we're gonna have to go back and finally take the time and build a massive complex for this. Feels like it's time. Now that we have uh, another need for the slugs, another very cool need for the slugs too. Computers, or storage, or something, something. Okay, so we got them all cleared out. I've got some blue eggs and some blue slugs. I don't want it to clog again though. So I'm gonna undo all the belting. Well, no, I don't need to undo it. Okay, we do need a smart splitter. So only blue slugs will be allowed to go through that way. And then any overflow will go to the left and we'll put them in a bin. Just like that. So now we'll only get blue slugs into the breeder. So let's turn this back on. Put four sets of breeding pairs. Okay, they want humidity 40 to 55. So put it down a little bit and they want temperatures warmer. There, that should do them right. They still want grainy snail food. Boy, it's been a while, long time since I've messed with this. I am excited to get back into it, to be honest with you. This is very cool. Okay, the humidity is off on this one as well. Let's see. And the temperature is fine. There. Perfect. We've got blue slugs. Boy, this is, this is really cool. 
Uh, it has taken me back to a part of the game that I found really fun, which was this fix-it farming. Oh, I forgot I had unlocked the composter. It just occurred to me that I might be able to start smashing the extra ones, too. Oh my gosh, and I can build one. How did we not explore this after I unlocked it? I was so excited to do that. Ah, this is the curse of being, um, well, me and hard to focus. If only there was a word for something like that. Compost makes fertilizer. What? All right, so my next goal is going to be to get these Faxit item senders and receivers so we can mess with this. So what do I need for this? Oops. What are you doing? I need 200 quantum cables and 200 quantum cable adapters. And what's the quantum cable adapter need? Is that the white cable? Okay. So we need three, three cables to make one adapter. So we're gonna need 600 to make 200. So we need 800. So I need 1600. Just to start 1600 quantum cables, which is 1600 blue slugs. No, it's not. It's a third of that. 500. Okay. Okay, that's not as bad as it initially seemed. Oh boy. I'm feeling very overwhelmed. Okay, I ran over to check and see how many blue slugs we've got. And I wasn't thinking when I set this up to overflow the blue ones, but that's what happened for the most part. And it works out pretty well. I think, I think we might even have enough. I took the time to add a item server, server rack, the storage network nexus, and a Faxit terminal to my to-do recipe list right there. And you can see I'm well on my way to gathering up all the items that we need. And I'm getting very excited. I was looking at the MAM tech tree and looking at all the unlocks that I wanted to do and try to get it. But honestly, I think you can use Nexus without all of those because so far they seem to be um, upgrades and such. Maybe, maybe not the item receiver and sender. I'm guessing that's how you input and output items from the Nexus server, the uh, centralized digital storage. And if I can start using that, boy, that's gonna really change the need of the city. Hmm, this is exciting. Okay, just threw down a temporary assembler. We're gonna get those going. We're gonna need another assembler to do the other adapters. Cannot afford, I don't have any copper rods. That's new. Oh, I think we have it. Okay, this is exciting. I am. I should've done this last episode if I'm being 100% honest with you and myself. But better late than never, right? Let's just do it right here. We're gonna move it, surely. But uh, this is exciting. A nexus. Uh, okay, it's gonna need fluid. And... Oh, who cares? Shut up, just put it down. Come on, bed. We all wanna see the new shiny. It's an awesome start. This is not what I was anticipating, <laughs> but I think I mentioned it before. There's definitely placeholder art right now, but this is so cool. Cannot find a nexus or is not powered or cooled. Hey, coolant, I bet. Okay, okay. Cannot find a nexus. So what does this thing want? It's gonna want coolant. All right. Again, I'm going off just guessing. Looks like it needs to be powered. And I'm guessing this is a data connector for quantum cable. Let's build a terminal. 
Let's see what that looks like. It looks like nothing. Okay, let's build a server rack. Ooh. Okay. Data point, this is cool. Let's put a server on it, of course. Of course, we're digitally storing items. We're going to need servers. Okay, is not powered. I can handle, I can correct that. Where's your power plug? None, okay. Where's your power plug? Right there. Okay, so you're powered. Cannot find a nexus. Oh, okay, yeah. So, poles. <laughs> so cool. Alright, you want to be connected. Yes, you do. Alright, probably not directly to that. You probably want to be connected to a server. Okay. Okay, let's see. Solid. Hmm. Is not powered or cooled. It is powered. So it probably needs to be cooled. Hey, look at that. We're going to make coolant. Okay, I arrived at Cryotech and we are full of diamond, which is exciting news. I am going to turn this machine off and reroute its water and cryolite into a fluid conditioner is how we're going to make coolant. I'm blind. Yes, I am. Okay. And some power. And now we're getting coolant and solids. The solids I can deal with easily. Okay, let's rebuild our nexus. Awesome. We've got coolant now. Oh, it's clipping. That's okay. This is just a test. Cannot find a nexus or is not powered or cooled. Okay. I'm guessing it means a server. So let's give it one. There. Okay. It only needs point six. Okay. Once I start using items, it's going to need way more, I'm sure. And we've got to output steam. Oh, I love this so much. I am flying high. This is just amazing. I assume. I don't know what it does yet, for sure. <laughs> cut. Cut. Just what do I do? That's the question. Okay, so we have, we don't have a terminal. Let's hook up a terminal so we can see if that does something. Wait, maybe we need processors. Processor unit to increase the speed to store items. Okay, so we don't, unless you have to increase the speed over zero, I don't think we need these right away. 
But you might need to increase it above zero. I guess we'll find out in a few minutes here when I finish making all the things we need for those other unlocks. Okay, so this is literally just a terminal that you get the same, you get the same screen as looking through here. Yeah, so it even has the coolant. So we definitely don't need the terminal right now. We're gonna be able to save those parts. Let's go and unlock some of the next milestones right after we output the steam. Oh wow, I thought I'd just start filling up the space elevator with stuff as I have it. And turns out I already easily had 10,000 soldering wire, so. And 20 versatile frames. I had no idea I was carrying any of those. Oh my gosh, this is tedious. I kind of wish I would have just built factories this episode. <laughs> right here, I need to hand fill these stabilization frames and go over and get these crystals and then run back to collect these. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know all the names yet. Stabilized quantum crystals. Those need to be turned into both quantum cables right here, which I was then taking and putting into here to get the quantum cable adapters. However, I only needed 400 of those, so I've stopped doing that right now. And then when I have extras, I take them over here to make an item drive Mark I, which I don't even know what it is. I know it doesn't stack. That's probably, that's probably a bug. These, I imagine, will stack. But I need to get a hundred of those with 25 smart plating to make each one. And look how long it takes. Yeah, over two minutes for each one. I need so many of these frames that I'm just hand feeding these ones right now. So I have to run and get, <laughs> I have to run and get zinc plates and lead frames. But still, this is just a madhouse. I wish there was a faster way, like maybe if I had factories for these things that were efficient. Hmm. Oh well, it's too late now. I am out. Hour, what hour is it? Three, three hours into hand feeding. Four hours into hand feeding these machines. I'm not turning back now. No way, man. This is exciting. All the hand filling, all the running around crazy, all the hours have finally, finally allowed us to unlock one of the items, the Faxit item receiver, which is very cool. I want to do the sender as well, except this one appears to unlock more nodes. So I'm going to do that one so I get to peek. Enable sync option. We've got green and red cables. Yellow cables. There, I have two cable or I have two coupons. So let's sync that. And this one says ten minutes, that's crazy. But that's fine, because I have lots of sets of 10 minutes to do. This is going to take me another couple hours. Actually, maybe not. I have all the adapters. Yeah, I don't think it'll be so bad. But I'll be back when I've finished these, and then I'm hoping we can use this, the item sender and receiver, to really ramp up production on everything. Okay, it has been hours, and I didn't mean to do it without you, but I clicked something. I came into the MAM, and I hit OK that it was done because we finished this one right here, the sync utility. And look at this, I can't wait to share this with you. We've got network cables, but then look at this, remote access, costs two tickets, inventory pull module. Oh, it's gonna fill our inventory. This is like logistic bots in Factorio. So this is gonna take a half an hour. I probably have about a half an hour left. I need to, let's see, I'll show you. I've ser it's, seriously, it's. It's been so many hours. I stopped and went and had dinner and uh, just let this run, even though it didn't run for long because it needs to be hand-fed for the most part. But, um, yeah, we have two of these. This will be the third one. Yeah, so we have probably almost half an hour left. So, excellent. Get more of those. Fill it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we still need over 100 of those things. Okay, so we're actually not quite a half an hour away. So let's unlock a few things right now, and then we'll start the timer, and then I'll catch you up in a few minutes. Let's see, we can do these. It's only, it's only three seconds is what I was going to say before I got all excited. Oh, I 
spent all my dots. I guess they're quantum crystals, not quantum dots. Okay, can't afford. Oh no! <laughs> I thought those were quantum crystals. Those were quantum cables. I just spent all the cables we need. Okay, it's gonna take me a half an hour to catch up. Uh, like I said, all part of the plan. All part of the plan. I'll see you real soon. Let's start this one though, so I don't forget. Oh my god, I need to go get a ticket. <clears throat> I can't believe I did that. I can't believe that happened. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna need a ton more of you. Oh, which is just competing for the items I need for this. Mm. Bah, humbug. Oh, I kind of want to cry. Not like a lot, but just like a little bit. Oh, the man is done. Walk, don't, I mean run, don't walk. <laughs> the analysis of remote access is completed. Please choose a new node in the tree to begin a new analysis. You got it. Enable push rule, enable pull rule. Oh, I'll do that. I'll do that real, I gotta get some coupons. All right, why am I running backwards? Okay, but what does the module do? Hmm, does it give us a new button maybe? <clears throat> Excuse me. Remote access. Let me check the key bindings and see if there is one in here. Open storage network. I'm a genius. You press K. Look at that, I don't even need those terminals anymore. <laughs> Oh, oh, bed is, no, don't, don't refer to yourself in the third person. I am very pleased. It's got to be almost time. I can feel it. The man will be done any second. I just, oh, <laughs> I could not have timed that any better. Uh, let's see. Inventory push module. Let's see how we're going to do it. All right, hit. K, K, K no longer works. What the? Did something change again? Open cheating interface. What's that? Press J. That doesn't work. Okay, hold on a minute. I'll figure out what's happened. But right now, I'm so happy, so happy to finally have all these items. So let's get the fax it item sender unlocked. That's only going to take three seconds. And now, oh, teleporter technology. Network teleporter needs 500 cable, 500 adapters, 150 adaptive control units. Oh no. What does this thing do? My guess is I need this thing to do the push and the pull. Uh, so I'm gonna have to do cobalt. That's alright, that's okay. We're gonna do it all. Okay, we made them. Let's connect them up. Okay, that looks good. Let's see, which one is the... Sender, okay, let's get a container. Hmm. Okay, now let's put some items in. Let's do diamond, let's see what happens. Oh, 
Okay, so I've got Diamond running into this machine and it is doing nothing. Looking at this again, I now see this is 100% used, zero items left. I'm guessing that means input and output, right? I mean, that goes to show. I mean, that makes sense. So I think what we need to do, it's like we talked about, we need input and output processors. So we have the Nexus. We need to increase, see this says increase the speed to store items. So right now we're at storage capacity of zero. So to increase them, we're gonna need two of these. So let's go get those items and we're gonna keep testing. We're gonna figure this out, I promise. I am, I am not sure I can keep that promise. Okay. So let's do an input processor. And an output processor. Hmm. Okay, so this might look slightly different because I got so frustrated I tore it all out. <laughs> I thought to myself, surely something is wrong. And while I still don't have it working completely, I did, I think, figure out the problem, which was somehow I had never clicked on this, even though I thought I had. So I can configure the item server, and it says place hard drive here, right? So I just went and got a hard drive to test this, and no, nope, didn't work. Okay, I figured out what I forgot, I'm pretty sure. This is the actual the item drive. We build the server rack and then we put the servers in there, but then the servers need the actual drives. That's why we have zero storage. So let's build one of these and then we'll go over there and I think in two and a half minutes we'll have our answer. Okay, so back to our server rack. Here we are. Oops, put the hard drive in. We have fix it byte. We have one fix it byte which stores 50 items. Okay. Pretty cool. Now let's try a receiver and a sender. There we go, 50 items left. Let's give it 50 items and see what it likes to do. Oh, I just want a regular container. And let's give it some diamonds again. Awesome. Okay, so it's very, very slow. Okay, but let's test the output now. I am a warlock with teleportation powers. I figured it out. I did. I. Uh, it took a lot of trial and error. It's not that intuitive. It's not complicated. And uh, we had it almost all correct. Let me show you. The coolant has to go into the nexus. That is true and you need these processors. So I went and saved up and I have four input processors and four output processors, which appears to give me almost 120, min uh, 120 items per minute. Then you need your server rack. Inside your server rack, you need the server, and inside your server, you need the hard drive. I only have one Mark One hard drive, which just holds 50 items. Don't forget to output your steam from the Nexus after it cools all the system. And then you need the item receiver, which is what takes items into the logical network of the Nexus. And then the sender, which sends items out. Now the big key was having four of each of the inputs and outputs. It was really wonky when I only had two. I, I was confused it wouldn't input, it wouldn't output a lot. I think just with one of each, it, it appeared to not be working at all. And so I was very confused. It took me a long time, finally, when I realized that when I put two of the same type on, I could get it to input or output. Um, yeah, so that that's the secret. So here, right now, if you have no defined input, 
you can throw anything in here. Let's do Asphalt. You get 38. Uh, I had 38 of them. And so now they're going in. And they're going into the Nexus network. You can interact with this to see it. Or you can hit K to load this up. Okay. You'll see this number right here. That's the maximum that I have set. Which it would be like right here. So see maximum item amount 10. So after it's received 10, it's no longer inputting asphalt. You could um, reset that to have no maximum, and now look, I'm taking it in again. All right, so that's how that works. Let's go ahead and just set that to be 30, and we'll see if it stops. Yep, there, it stopped. Okay, reset that, get rid of the maximum. Now, it's not leaving, you'll see, because you have to define what item you want out of it. So if you go over to the sender and see right now I was messing around with stabilized quantum crystals. I can clear that selected item. Still nothing's coming out. As soon as I click this asphalt, it's going to start outputting the items. Easy peasy. You have to have everything in the network. So all the senders and receivers and the nexus all have to be connected to a s one s single nexus network. You're not allowed to have two Nexus on the same network. It won't let you connect them together. You'll get an error that says each circuit already has a Nexus and you may not connect them. But yeah, that's it. So now we have item teleportation. Oh my gosh, let me show you something else. Uh, I feel like I've... <laughs> I feel like I've been so excited for like the last nine hours straight. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I restarted my game and now when I hit tab for my inventory, look at I've got item requests and item trash. How awesome is that? Okay, let me show you how this works. When you're in range of your Nexus network, which I am right now, I can hit K and open it up. If I was way over there and hadn't been over here, if I hit K, it doesn't do anything. So you have to be kind of in the network. I'm not sure how that works. Um, I haven't tested that quite yet. But let's take, okay, so right here I have, here, I have nothing in there, and let's do, we'll do Quickwire as the example. Now, if you've played Factorio and you've used their logistic robots, this is the same general concept. So what I want to do, say I have, uh, so here I have 980 Quickwire, right? And this is a sender. So what I can do is go to Quickwire, uh, or have Quickwire selected right here. Uh, here, I'll show you. If I don't have Quickwire selected, and now I'm going to say an item trash filter. Now, what this means is this is how many you want to have in your inventory. So, right now, it's I'm at 980. This says 1,000. If I want to go down to 500 in my inventory, I just change this to 500. Now, I hit save, and look, the Quickwire is gone. Well, not fully gone. Right, it didn't go all the way down to 500. And the reason for that is because my storage network is full. I only have the one hard drive over there. I can only hold 50 items, right? So here, Quickwire 50, my whole storage system is full. Now, if I click on this, remember I showed you earlier, when you click on this, it's going to start outputting it. So what's gonna happen now is this Quickwire is gonna go into a chest right there. And as it does, it's gonna keep getting filled up from my inventory until this hits. 500 total. And if this isn't the coolest thing you've ever seen in Satisfactory, then I don't know what is. It is mind-blowing, the implications. Just, I mean, it's, it's logistic bots from Factorio. We're always gonna have the set inventory that we want all the time. And when you're out there building, it's just gonna get replenished all the time. That is just the coolest thing I've ever seen in Satisfactory. Now, if you like this revelation and want to explore more of this mod with me, please hit the subscribe button. Okay, I'm kind of impatient, so I'm going to change this trash filter to be 700 instead of uh, 500, so this stops when this hits 200. Let's test it. Okay, there it's finished up. So now, if I hit my inventory, I should have exactly 700 quick wire. And I do! It's brilliant! It's magic! Isn't that just amazing? Well, just in case it isn't immediately clear how it would work for inventory s pushing, 
let me show you. We're going to fill up the network terminal. 38 asphalt. Now, if I want item request, I can select asph asphalt. Asphalt. Right there. I can say that I want to have 100 on me at all times. And there. I was given 38 asphalt. You can see in the left right there, the pop-up. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen, ever. Yeah, so that's going to do it. What an epic, epic episode, if I do say so myself. I love the Nexus. I love the logistic bots from Factorio. I love that we're going to be able to automatically fill our inventory, take items out of our inventory, and don't even get me started on the way that we're going to be able to use this to actually build factories and send items across the map instantly. I am very looking forward to getting to use this a little bit more in the future, but that's going to do it for today. Really appreciate you tuning in, and I'll see you soon. Bye now. Thanks for the lift, buddy. Oh my god, I'm losing it. <laughs>